Plantar is tendon rupture. Usually the patient will feel a popping sensation similar to being struck from behind. The calf muscles will become swollen with significant bruising. With rupture of the plantaris tendon, the patient may feel sharp stabbing pain at the back of the calf. Patient will be able to walk but will have difficulty in running. The condition is referred to as a tennis leg. Injury occurs due to eccentric loading of the ankle with the knee extended. The plantaris muscle arises from the lateral subracondylar ridge of the femur above the lateral head of the gastrocnemius muscle. It inserts into the medial side of the calcaneus. It passes between the soleus and gastrocnemius muscle down to its insertion into the medial side of the calcaneus. The plantaris is located within the superficial posterior compartment of the leg. In a cross section of the popliteal fossa, you can see the plantaris located on the lateral aspect of the popliteal fossa. The plantaris plantar flexes the foot and flexes the knee. It is innervated by the tibia nerve. The plantaris contains a high density of proprioceptive receptor and organs. It provides proprioceptive feedback to the central nervous system regarding the position of the foot. It used by surgeon for tendon graft, especially for Achilles tendon rupture, to augment the repair in some select cases. Rupture of the plantaris tendon can often be mistaken for an Achilles tendon tear due to similar injury pattern, location of the pain, and the area of tenderness on examination. The examiner must exclude other sources of pain or injury by clinical examination. The plantaris tendon could be injured in association with an Achilles tendon rupture. Thompson test. If the plantaris tendon is ruptured with the Achilles tendon, then the test is usually positive. If the plantaris tendon is intact with a ruptured Achilles tendon, then the test may appear negative. When you squeeze the calf muscle, there might be plantar flexion of the ankle due to intact plantaris tendon. The MRI would show loss of visualization of the plantaris tendon on T1 axial cuts. On T2, you will see an acute edema in this area. The Achilles tendon will be clearly visible and will appear intact without a gap, and Thompson test will be negative. Treatment of plantaris tendon rupture, elevation, crutches, pain control, and weight-bearing astrolated in a camp walker boot. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.